Good morning, Tess, and good morning, Colton. And they're all going to be convening here at the state capitol a little later on this morning. We're talking about some parents out there, some kids, and education leaders calling on lawmakers to find a more long-term solution. Because if it seems like we talk about this education spending cap every year about January and February, it is because, well, we do. And lost in some of the headlines last week from the Super Bowl and the Waste Management Open was what happened here. And that's because lawmakers voted both House and Senate to lift that spending cap, allowing schools to spend roughly $1.3 billion already budget, budgeted for them and avoiding layoffs and school closures. This also happened, if it sounds like deja vu, in 2022. The reason why, the state has a cap on school spending that was set back in about 1980, so 40 plus years ago. So basically what that means, if lawmakers allocate more money to districts in the state budget, then they are required by a two thirds majority to lift that spending cap so schools can spend the money. A little confusing, right? We talked to a former Democratic lawmaker, Daniel Hernandez, with Stand for Children Arizona about why he feels this decades long law needs to change. This is a long-term problem that requires long-term solutions. So we're calling on the legislature to say, we are so grateful that you lifted and avoided a $1.3 billion fiscal cliff uh, last week, but we can't keep having this political football every single year. For families in particular, it is important that they have that security that if their kid starts a school year, they're going to be able to finish it. Now, we know other lawmakers agree with finding a more permanent solution. We talked to GOP Representative Matt Grass about why he feels the state needs to modernize these education spending cap rules. In order to fix it and to modernize the AEL, we'll have to go to the voters uh, with a new proposition. I don't believe in getting rid of it entirely, again, because I believe it's a useful tool to help uh, lawmakers, but the AEL needs to be modernized and we need to get a referral out to, to the ballot sooner rather than later. Yeah, AEL is kind of an acronym for this spending cap, the aggregate expenditure limit. As far as getting it out to voters, that could potentially happen next year, but here at the state capitol, they would have to, the legislature would have to vote to recommend and to put this on the ballot. And then Arizona voters would have the ultimate say. So certainly a lot of conversations going to be happening over the next couple of days and weeks about this topic. Guys, we'll send it back to you.